most patients that come to our practice, they have either had this discovery or someone's pointed it out to them, or they might still kind of be in denial that they're even doing it. Um, mouth breathing is the root cause of all sleep disordered breathing, which we're just starting to understand in sleep dentistry and sleep medicine that the children who start off mouth breathing are the adults who end up with sleep apnea. And there's this, this um, spectrum that starts with mouth breathing. It leads to something called upper airway resistance syndrome, which then leads to snoring, which then leads to mild sleep apnea, moderate sleep apnea, severe sleep apnea. But it all starts in this very bottom, you know, end of the, I guess, I guess line um, with just mouth breathing. And so if you can correct it at just mouth breathing, it will never progress to these worse symptoms. However, if you already notice that you're snoring or you already notice that you're feeling sleepy or that you're really restless, you're waking up multiple times a night, maybe you already have some form of sleep disordered breathing, then if you can go back to the beginning of where it all started and correct the mouth breathing, you can improve these downstream symptoms. And so you kind of can look at it in both directions. Like, okay, am I mouth breathing day or night? Is my tongue in the top or bottom of my mouth? You mentioned tongue tie, which is a big part of not being able to keep your tongue up. We have to start asking why, and we have to start asking why when it comes to just mouth breathing. And so you can look at other things, you know, what causes mouth breathing allergies. You know, if you're chronically congested, if you're a child and you have giant tonsils and adenoids, um, even asthma, any type of breathing issue will lead to mouth breathing, which will then set you down these different, you know, sleep disordered breathing paths. What we're treating is so simple. It's the bottom of the, you know, it's like the bottom of the pyramid, but then, like I said, the downstream effects of treating those things can really uh, help in, in the bigger picture.